All right, everybody, we're going to be doing a practice game on high card flush. I'm going to try to go over some of the strategy with you as I'm going along here. Um, since it is only practice, we're going to be betting everything on the board here. The dealer is going to need a nine high, three card flush or higher to qualify. And the strategy that we're looking for is a three card Jack nine, six or better than that. All right, so let's just see what we can do here and see if we can make something happen on this one. As you see, we're bet the side bets as well as the uh, jackpot that or get that bet. And we're just looking for the best flush that we can have. Nothing else. Two of a kind, three of a kind, full house, straight, straight flush, they all go out the window. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it highlight this website highlights the flush that you have in green here. So we're looking at a Queen Jack 10, so we're going to keep that. We're going to raise 1x. And we lost, but because the dealer has the king high, we have the queen high. So we lost a bet, but we won on the uh, jackpot. We got the three card straight flush. And we also won on the uh, straight flush side bet over here with a three card straight flush. Okay, so we have a 874, so we're going to fold that out. Here we only have a two card flush. We have an ace and a nine, so we're going to fold that one as well. We don't keep two, two card flushes, and we're not, and we keep everything four card and above and the three cards like I said jack nine six or better and here we have an ace king jack so we'll one x that Okay, we have a King Jack 5, so we're going to keep that one. We are going to lose a lot on this as far as the uh, balance goes because we're doing all the uh, side bets at a high level. So, like I said, I'm just doing this as a practice, a little educational tutorial, and a little bit of strategy. So we have an ace four, so we're going to fold that one out. And we'll rebet. Okay, king jack three, we'll keep that. A jack seven five that's a good example that's not a jack nine six so we're gonna fold that even though the dealer didn't qualify on that it's it's still a foldable hand and right now we have a four card here so we're definitely keeping that Another four card, we're going to do the one X raise on this one. So we won that even though the dealer has a king high three card flush, but we have a 10 high four card flush and the four card will beat the three card regardless of what 
the dealer has up there. Okay, so we have queen six five. We're going to keep that. Okay, we have two cards. We have a jack and a seven. That's a fold. Queen seven three, we'll keep that one. Okay, now we have an eight, nine, ten straight flush. So what we're gonna do here in this situation, <clears throat> since it's not a jack nine six or better, but we are on the uh, side bet for the uh three card straight flush we're actually going to fold out but our side bet is still going to be active because the straight flush will mean nothing as far as the raise goes so that's what we're going to do we're going to fold that out and we're still going to win the straight flush on our side bet King eight five, so we keep that one. And again, here we have a king, 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 queen six. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Four card straight flush we have it or not a straight flush but a flush we have an ace a queen a seven and a six so we keep that we get the one x raise now it's only one x because it was only a four card on a two three or four card flush if it's a five card flush you can raise two x and six or seven card flush you can raise three x so there are different raises for the different flushes that you have, or different numbers. Okay, here, just as I was saying it, now we have a five card flush, so we're going to do a 2x raise on this, but we're also going to be on the side bet here. We have a five card flush that pays 10 to 1. So we'll do a 2x raise. Now see, now here we have an 8, 9, 10, and a jack. So we have a 4 card straight flush. So this one here is actually going to pay, the straight flush side bet here is going to pay 60 to 1 for the four card straight flush. And then a four card will pay even money over here for the four card flush. Plus we're going to do a 1x raise on this. four cards so we're not going to worry about we're going to just raise that up okay we have a 10 a 3 and a 2 so we're going to fold that A jack 10 7 that's better than a jack 9 6 so we're going to keep that and raise one okay ace king 9 raise 1x on that 
course, we lost to a five card flush, but that happens. Okay, no queen jack eight, so we're going to keep that. Okay, king eight four, we'll keep that. Basically, what it comes down to, if you have a three card flush and you have anything higher than a jack, you're going to keep it. Like this, seven, six, three, that's garbage. So we're going to fold that out. Now always remember while you're doing this, if you're playing the side bets, even though you fold your side bets, still stay active. So you may have like a small straight flush over here that'll, your higher flush goes in your raise area, but you might have these cards on the right side here, the four are also still active. So just so you have like a ace, king, ten, where that seven, six, and three is, but then you have a two, three, four straight flush over on this side, you would get paid on that straight flush as well. Seven, two, four, nothing. So we're going to fold that out. We have a four card. Okay. King two. It's only a two card flush there. So we're going to fold that. Games like this and like Mississippi Studs, you can't be afraid to fold because it comes with the territory. I say this is kind of like the one that we had a little while ago. You have the 8, the 9, and 10 straight flush. It's not a jack 9, 6, or better, so we're going to fold and then keep the uh, straight flush, 3 card flush on the side bet. Queen nine six, we're gonna raise that up one. Jack seven eight, it's not a jack nine six, so we're gonna fold that one out. And see it was a good fold because we would have lost anyway. So now we have a four card flush here, so we're going to raise that one. Another four card flush. Another four card flush. Now, even though the dealer had a four card flush as well. So we lost on that one because they have an ace high and we have a queen high. And we got paid out on the uh, four card flush on the uh, left side bed here. Okay, so we got a king jack four, so we're going to one X raise that. And we lost to a four card flush. Now, guys, here, so not only do we have a four card flush, but we have a four, five, six straight flush as well. 
So we're going to do the raise on this one because of the uh, four card. And then we're going to get paid out on the straight, the three card side bet at seven to one for the three card straight flush. And even we're on the other side on the flush side, but we're going to get paid even money out for the flush. So we're going to raise that one X. And I'm sorry, my camera's a little bit off right there. I really can't, I just noticed I really can't see what's going on in the upper right hand corner there where it gives you the payouts. I apologize, that was my fault. Okay, so we have an ace nine five, so we're gonna raise that one X. Seven four. We're gonna fold that one. Ace king seven. So we'll do a one x raise on that. King jack two one x. Four card flush with a three card straight flush in there, so we're getting paid out on everything as long as we win the uh, four card straight flush. We'll get everything here, uh, and that the dealer qualifies, which they didn't, so the uh, raise pushed, but we won everything else. So a total of four hundred five dollars in bets. One. 13 15 so um, that would have been like a it was real money it would have been around a $900 payout for that as you can see in the lower left here we start with 10,000 and now it's like 15 365 so we actually be up over five grand right now it's not always like this don't just sing against go out there and start winning this game It is a uh, a one deck game, so I think it's a maximum of six players plus a dealer would make the card count right. Because that would be 40, 49 total, 52 card, yeah. So it would be six players plus a dealer because it's only played with one deck. And it gets shuffled every time, so it's impossible even try to count cards on this I don't think you can do it because of this get shuffled so we have a queen 10 five so we're gonna keep that okay king well it's four card flush so it's king eight six four so we'll raise one X dealer qualified so we got paid out we lost the side bets but we got paid out on that so we bet 405 and we won a total of 600 so we didn't lose anything jack 9-2 be tempted but it's not jack 9-6 so we're going to fold that Even though we would have won, but folding that was a correct call. Okay, so we'll raise that one one X. All right, so it's. Ace two from what I can see, so we're gonna fold that out. Okay. 
Jack 8-3, again, not Jack 9-6, so we're going to fold that. We would have lost. Ace five three will raise that one X. Four Carter, we we'll keep that one. And we win with the Jack High. <clears throat> Ace nine three will raise that one X. Jack seven two, that's a fold. So we have ace two four five. It's a four card to keep that. Ace three five. Okay, another four card flush. We'll keep that. And so we had the four cards, so we won, even though we only have a nine high, but we beat the uh, three card king high. That's why it's called high card flush. Highest cards win. Okay, we have a 10 and a 6, so we're going to fold that. Queen high three card flush here, so we'll raise that one X. Okay, we have a four card flush here. And we got beat by a five card flush. Queen eight four, better than Jack nine six, so we keep that. Another four card flush. four so we're going to fold that one out it's an a7 yeah so we're going to fold that Ace nine six, so we're gonna keep that one. And we got beat by an ace ten six. Yes, that's a similar, that's actually one that we didn't go over yet. So I'm actually glad that happened. Even though we each had ace high, three card flushes, it would go down to the next card, which the ten beats the nine, so we lost that hand on, on that principle there. Nine six two. That's just junk. We only think about that one. King nine three. So we'll raise that one.
a6, a8, so we'll keep that. Okay, so we're going to 852, we're going to fold that one out. Jack eight five again, not Jack nine six. So we're gonna fold that. Now you see we would have lost had we kept it. King ten nine, keep that, and we win this time. Just the opposite of last one. Both king high. Actually, no, I had a four card flush. Never mind. But still, if that two wasn't there, we would have won anyone on the three card because our ten would have beat their seven. That's a fold. It's a four carder, we keep that. And we still lost, but we we have to keep it. It's four cards or higher. Fold that one out. King six, we'll fold that one out. Jack ten five. Jack eleven. So that's the majority. I'd say we keep that one. There, you can see how fast it depleted too, because not that long ago, with this bounce was up over fifteen thousand. Now it's back down to pretty much where it started at. So, like I said, don't think you can just go in there and start winning this game because it's not that easy. But then we are playing a lot more too, so normally wouldn't put that much money on side bets or whatever like that. But since it's not actual real money, we're just doing more of an educational video here. It really doesn't matter. with side bets anyway there's <clears throat> some games are okay Mississippi stud is one that I will use them and this one here is another one it just won't be <clears throat> as high that's all there is another two quarter so as you can see the Cards has shifted and they're not going our way anymore. Ten four two, so that's a fold. Rebet that. Ten nine five, that's also a fold. Five, that's a fold. King ten, we're going to fold that one out too. Just do a couple more hands here just to see if anything else pops up that I haven't actually gone over yet, but I think we've pretty much covered. Pretty much the entire game here. Queen 10 2, so we keep that one. Okay, four cards, so we keep 
that. Another four card flush here. I was <coughs> thinking about maybe a straight flush there, but I didn't. Missing one card there. Jack nine four. I'm going to fold that one out. Six, we'll raise that one X. Right, and we'll do one more hand here just to see. Yeah, it's a four, six, seven, so we're gonna fold that out. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like <clears throat> excuse me, like the don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if there's any more, you know, strategy videos that you want to go over and, you know, feed my brain a little bit and I'll try to make it happen for you. Well, not try, I will make it happen. Just And just let me know what you guys want to see. All right, and thanks again for watching.